Previously on The Impossible Race, we met our contestants who are racing across the country with their pets. Today, each team will use a different method of transportation to travel from their hometown to a remote destination. Liz is clearly a planner. She started the race by packing important items for any trip. Enough pet food for the entire trip, food and water bowls, Duke's favorite toys so we won't get bored, a blanket or bed for comfort and some familiar smells, a leash, a first aid kit, Duke's medications, and a copy of his health records, listing all of his recent vaccinations. She's really thought of everything. She even found a pet-friendly hotel for later in the race. Meanwhile, Clint and Daisy are about to make their way through the airport after masterfully booking tickets, knowing that each airline's regulations vary, including restrictions on breed, size, and species. Several weeks before traveling, Clint had the foresight to connect with his pet's veterinarian to discuss any regional health risks Daisy may face at their destination and to be issued a health certificate, which is required for air travel. Before leaving, he also double-checked that Daisy is microchipped and that the registration information is up to date and includes his mobile number. Liz is finally on the road now. You'll notice that Duke looks very relaxed. That's because Liz took him on a handful of short, fun trips to help get him acclimated to car rides in the weeks leading up to the race. She's also keeping the car well ventilated, has ensured Duke has plenty of water, and has been making stops every two to three hours for potty breaks and exercise. Liz is also focused on safety. Duke is properly restrained so he'll never be on the driver's lap or have his head out the window. She's also committed to never leaving Duke alone in the car, especially in the summer, because temperatures can quickly rise to deadly levels, even with the windows cracked. Clint and Daisy's plane has landed, and they've made it to the pit stop first, winning this leg of the race. It's been a great race between two contestants who know how important it is to be prepared when traveling with pets. And they couldn't have done it without Duke's veterinarian, whose team is also happy to help you as you prepare for your next trip.